Top 3 Ghosts Trapped on Video Hello folks all over the world, episode 62 of our beloved paranormal series, for our opening and ending column entitled, It Is An Hoax, we are talking about a video that many channels that deal with the paranormal are showing as real, when instead it says in the video caption, that it is a group of actors and actresses based in Los Angeles, USA. You know that for some time we have been trying to bring material that leaves some perplexity, but here any doubt has been dispelled by the author. We are in front of a rocking chair that moves by itself but is part of a film project, it's all fake. So let's continue with our weekly ranking. The Backrooms in Real Life The video we are talking about is part of a very famous character on YouTube, that of Christopher Brian Hill, who from his headquarters in Cleveland, Ohio, USA, publishes many videos grouped on the Urbex Hill channel. In early October 2022 Chris publishes a truly scary video, shot in some basements of an abandoned and decidedly terrifying place. Armed with an infrared camera, Chris explores the tunnels of this place, baptizing it as the backrooms of real life. Open your eyes well because this place is really horrible, there are writings everywhere that refer to hell, and Chris says he made a mistake in entering there, that he had the impression that some evil entity wanted to enter inside him. Hey what's up guys, it's Urbex Hill here. This video is going to be a little different. I bought an IR camera with some IR lights, and uh, basically you can see in the dark. Let me show you guys my setup. Chris leaves his equipment and power generator in the main hall of the site, and starts walking through the first corridor where he finds animal bones and even the horrible carcass of a smashed cat. Oh, what the f- Look at this. Wow, I can't even tell what, what that is. Somebody's clothes. This is really creepy at night. What the hell? Of course, a missing fuse. Oh, God. After the corridor, Chris enters a really strange path made up of two galleries with shelves on the sides, where he hears sinister noises and decides to take a look. I wonder what these things are used for. It's like these shelves are all connected, it seems like. When Chris reviews the recordings, he realizes that as he increases the contrast of the images, when he turns the camera to view the opposite side of the tunnel, a strange light shadow crosses that space from left to right very quickly. Next to the generator in the central room, Chris also left an infrared camera on, and while Chris was filming the tunnel on the opposite side, the room's camera captures something really creepy. But the most sinister moment of the investigation happens when Chris returns to the central hall where he hears a sudden noise, possibly caused by some animal. What the infrared camera manages to capture is really scary, pay attention. Did you hear that? That was loud.
For the remainder of the investigation Chris will throw up twice and be sick for the next two days. In the comments someone asks him to return to the place to make further investigations but he categorically refuses, declaring that he felt in serious danger. The shadow figure at the end of the hallway. The paranormal community has recently been discussing an incredible video posted on the Reddit social forum by user Bianca5150 in August 2022. Bianca reports the following description below the video. What or who could that be? Me and my girl left the house for a bit and we wanted to see which dog kept tearing up our stuff, so to find out we put up a camera and later, while going over the footage, we get a random notification and at first it's nothing, but then when you really look down the hallway where the door frame is, you can actually see it. No one was even home and we were only gone for 20 minutes and the other cameras I have around the house do not show anyone entering my home. So what's in my hallway? Analyzing the video, the variation of light contrasts with the dark shadow is perfectly uniform. The shadow appears to be properly integrated into the context in size and shape as well, not just in pixels and colors. In the comments one user describes the shadow as penetrating the wall, and Bianca replies that it was actually headed for her mother's bedroom. The girl also says that in her life she has seen things she is unable to explain but having such a disturbing evidence as this literally felt butterflies in her stomach appear with goosebumps, with getting nauseous and sweaty at the same time. Echoes of Death in War In the federal state of Missouri in America, there is a town called Humansville with a very interesting past on paranormal phenomena, most likely due to the bloody Civil War of 1861, which caused numerous victims in the area, including innocents and children. There were nearly 14,000 in killed and thousands more in wounded. Casualties for the state's loyal men to the Confederacy are unknown. Soldiers killed unarmed prisoners as well as men, women and children of St. Louis in the incident that became known as the St. Louis Massacre. In 2015 an investigator named Matt opened a YouTube channel called Humansville Paranormal Society to publish all his videos about the strange phenomena that characterize some of the buildings in this town. From the church to the cemetery, from the abandoned factory to haunted school, Matt has carried out investigations throughout the area, always capturing extraordinary phenomena. In the first week of October 2022 Matt posted a truly disturbing video taken by video surveillance cameras from the office of a chain store. This is precisely the Dollar General store in Humansville, it's 2 AM on September 15, 2022, take a look. From the wall of the shop office, the full figure of a strange human-like being crossing the room and the furniture inside. To the more experienced, the apparition looks similar to the ghosts of the Civil War scene in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Matt describes that his wife Katrina worked there and that employees often hear the cooler doors banging shut. Although the video is not of high quality it is remarkable to note how the figure penetrates the furniture with naturalness and coherence without pixel distortion, typical instead of a possible editing. As they showed at the beginning in the column of our episode, is it an hoax, even this YouTube channel, despite declaring that it is a horror movie shot at home, many social channels of paranormal caliber show this video as real, when instead we see very well that it is a man who pretends to be scared in front of an actress in pure style Chinese horror. Uh, <sighs> Friends I thank you for watching, follow us on our social channels and do not miss the next episode dedicated to the Halloween party, leave a like on our YouTube channel if you have appreciated our work, we will see you soon, very soon, I wish everyone good night.